right everyone, Dan Central here and uh, welcome to my own tag video. That's my dog, it's just there, you can't really see very well, there's her head. Um, I've just done a response to uh, Shock16 um, on a tag response video, which he got tagged by a cool guy called ProBman5. Um, I enjoyed it so much. It was such a surreal experience um, for me because I used to do them so so much in the past, a good few years ago, uh, and I've kind of found my love for them again, uh, which is really cool. So I didn't actually plan to do this at all initially, and then um, I was sort of sitting down doing some other work and stuff, and then uh, I sort of started thinking about tag videos, as you do, and uh, it was just, I just had a moment of inspiration. You know where you just have those moments where you just feel inspired and you just get some really good stuff down and you just suddenly get a rush of ideas from nowhere? Uh, I get it um, quite a bit when I'm doing like stuff on the piano when I'm trying to compose pieces from scratch. I'll get really cool ideas and put really nice melodies down and I end up creating hopefully a really cool um, you know, piece of music out of it. Um, so I, I thought of five questions that I'm going to start my own tag with. Um, one of the most famous tags that I started off um, uh, a good few years ago when I was on YouTube the first time around, way back, uh, was a tag called the Fusion Tag, uh, which didn't really go very well because the first two questions were to do with fusing stuff, like what two games would you fuse together, what two um, uh, films would you fuse together, but then I went off on a random tangent and I, it was like, what's your favourite comedian? Um, do you believe in ghosts? Um, and and some of the guys that were answering them as well were just a bit like, okay, the first two questions make sense, but what the other questions got in terms of re relevance to you know fusion um, aspect? So I kind of balls it up a little bit. Um, so rather than put an actual you know uh, topic or a kind of uh, word in the title um, to specify it too much, I'm just going to keep it broad. Um, so this is just going to be. The random tag, um, because I've randomly decided to do one um, that I've come up with myself, and um, a lot of the questions are just random. Um, so that way, if people do say that's a bit random, then uh, good. That's that, that's what the tag's about. Um, so uh, yeah, these aren't gaming related at all. I thought, you know what? Let's just do something different for for once. Let's uh, you know, um, just um, have a bit of fun and. Uh, maybe come out of the gaming box um, uh, for a bit. Um, it's not always a bad thing, and also I do piano stuff as well, so I don't always do gaming stuff, so um, I thought, why not? So, I've got five questions, and I'm gonna obviously tag three people at the end of this, and then obviously no pressure to do it, but if you do, it would be absolutely wicked, and obviously, please do pass it on um, to other people, and I'd love to see it circulate round, and I'd love to, at some point, be able to um, follow the chain a little bit, and be able to find other people um, that even I don't know, but they're still answering my questions, uh, and I can discover their channels as well through that. So there's always good points to this as well. Well, not that there's bad points, but what I mean is there's other good points as well, because um, aside from enjoying it and getting it out in the community, you can also discover other channels from it. So, this is the random tag um, created by Dan Central. Um, so, question one is, I'll put these questions obviously in the description box underneath as well, so you guys can copy and paste them into yours, if you do happen to do a response, or at least you can see them. Um, what interest slash hobby do you have which you don't think many people would know about, um, whether that's on YouTube or off YouTube, um, which they probably wouldn't necessarily associate with you, um, or they just wouldn't particularly know that you do. Now, obviously, um, everyone knows I'm a gamer. A lot of you out there know I play piano. A lot of you out there know that I, I have a dance background. A lot of you know that I work in the fitness industry uh, as a personal trainer and I teach lots of fitness classes. So that's really, really quite out there stuff. People know about that already. Um, but probably one thing that probably very few people on YouTube know, uh, I know uh, one or two people do know this, but as a, as a whole thing, um, probably not many people do know. Um, and that's that um, I have a huge interest in the paranormal. Um, I always like to sort of think about um, you know, what happens after we do die, because uh, obviously no one knows. It's quite a fascinating subject for me. And um, I do have a hobby of um, going round to supposedly haunted lo locations um, and um, exploring. Um, I've been to a few um, asylums that are now abandoned. 
um, and uh, I've been a bit too scared to actually, you know, like they do on, I suppose, shows like Most Haunted, where they ask out and say, if there's anyone here, can you know, please make a, make a sign, uh, make a noise. Um, I've been a bit too too scared to do that, but um, I've gone to places in the pitch black, with a, just with a torch, uh, with mates, and um, we've actually it, um, explored abandoned buildings, um, and uh, basically shut each other up. Um, so, although it's um, scary, uh, I get a massive adrenaline rush from it. There's quite a few places not too far from where I live um, that's supposedly haunted. It obviously depends if you believe in that kind of thing or not. Um, but uh, places that I've heard of that are potentially um, haunted or they've got stories associated with them, I've actually been to and uh, ended up becoming absolutely terrified and running away with my mates and stuff. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's random, um, but... You know, it's uh, yeah, it's quite freaky. Um, I know you have to be careful as well because they they always say if you believe in that kind of thing, you know, you don't know what you're messing with. And obviously, the last thing I want to do is uh, do do anything like that. Um, but I have been to places that are supposedly haunted and just sort of looked around in the dark. And um, yeah, I've heard the odd kind of creak and when you know everyone's standing still and stuff like that, which I know could be anything. But in that kind of environment, you know, your mind plays tricks on you. You just immediately think it's something, you know. Um, paranormal there's a ghost there um but yeah i have a hobby and an interest in going round to supposedly haunted locations um and just seeing if i can um see anything hear anything and uh uh yeah but i've been too scared to actually try and speak and actually try and entice anything because obviously that's not what i would want to do i don't because i don't actually know what would happen so you know uh, i've not done that but um yeah if i ever get the chance to go to places with people i, I generally do uh, jump to the jump at the chance um it's different um and uh, you you really do have to stick together as well because we'd never we'd never split up and like go to diff different areas on our own um no but yeah i have an interest in the paranormal and going around to places i have not done it as much lately as i have done in the past but if i get the chance in the future then i would definitely um so yeah um that's another interest that i have that maybe not a lot of you know about question two do you own a pet now? Come here, Rosie. This is my dog. Some of you have seen her before on camera. Oh, I went to pick her up and she ran off. Two seconds. Oh. Oh, she just licked my nose. I do have a pet. If you do have a pet, show it on camera. If you don't, then fair enough, just say you don't own a pet and that's cool. But this is my, my absolutely beautiful dog, Rosie. She's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I've had her a long time. And um, people have seen her on videos before. Um, she's the most loving, gentle dog that you could ever be lucky enough to own. Um, she just wouldn't know how to hurt anyone. She really doesn't. She'd let anyone near her. She's very trust trustworthy of people. Um, so, uh, yeah. She's absolutely awesome, oh, and she's trying to get down now. So, door them off you go. She'll she'll jump down in a minute. Um, so yeah, I do have a pet. Uh, I have a gorgeous little Jack Russell um, called Rosie. Question three. Very random. So if you're saying random, good. That's the point. Um, is there a fruit? I did say fruit um, that you enjoy. That's not an obvious choice for people um, that you can show on camera um, and say why you like it. The reason I came up with this one is because I've been eating a lot of it lately and um, it's not your obvious choice for fruit. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> why not show it on camera as you do? I'm random like that. So what? I am a little bit insane, but so what? So my choice of fruit is going to be pineapple. Now, pineapple is absolutely awesome. Whoops, nearly fell out the box. Um, it's just so yummy. It's so sweet, so juicy, and I'm so good for you as well. Um, yeah, you can't really fault pineapple. Mmm. I could eat it most of the day. I just do. Not everyone necessarily likes pineapple, and it's not an obvious choice either, because a lot of people would say, bananas, oranges, apples. But for me, I actually love pineapple. Obviously I do like the other fruits as well, 
but I have a I have a massive love for pineapple. So yeah, if you've got a fruit that you like, that's not your obvious apple, orange or banana, and you've got it to hand, show it and uh, say why. Random. Living up to its name. So pineapple. Question four. Have you ever done a challenge in the past? And if you have, explain what you did. And if you've got any surviving footage of that challenge anywhere, whether it's already on YouTube or it's not, are you brave enough to upload it? Or if it's already on YouTube, can you grab it and put it in this video? Now for me, I've actually got two. And uh, yeah, I am brave enough to upload them both and put them into this video because they are already on YouTube somewhere. But for those of you that have not long been subscribed to me, you might not have seen them. So um, yeah, have you got any challenges you've done in the past that um, were out there or quite extreme that you are brave enough to show footage of or even just explain if you don't or if you've not got any footage are you brave enough to actually do the challenge live on camera in as part of your tag response video to this are you brave enough to uh, upload um, yourself doing it live on camera here first so it depends how you guys are feeling how brave you are uh, but yeah basically uh, I've done two challenges in the past and uh, they are on YouTube, so I don't really feel too bad about putting them in this video because they're already on YouTube anyway. Um, the first one I did was I actually had uh, the hottest thing on the Indian menu when I went to an event in Spalding uh, a good few years ago now. Um, it was for my birthday. I had one of the best birthdays ever uh, because we all went out for a meal. There was all of us YouTubers. There was people like myself, obviously. Um, the Gebs24 was there. Uh, one of my mates, Ziggy, known as Zonic on YouTube, was there. Uh, Retro Bob um, two zero eight four is it? I think his his name his name was was there um, and uh, Air, Airwolf something Airwolf Gamer I think his name was um, was there and um, quite a few others now that don't necessarily do a lot on YouTube anymore but I'm still good friends with them in person uh, were there Martin who owned Game Link in Sporting he organised it all and he was just absolutely great and they bought me a Nintendo DS Super Mario cake as well it was so cool um, but basically. Um, we ordered the hottest thing on the menu and um, we was basically seeing if any of us were brave enough to try it. And there's footage of me basically taking a big tablespoon of it out of the thing, uh, a bit more than you probably normally take really. And uh, I basically just go for it. And uh, yeah, I spent the rest of that evening in a lot of discomfort, I'll be honest, because uh, we went out clubbing afterwards and I'm trying to enjoy myself and dance around like a twat. Um, but uh, it wasn't easy because every time I jumped up and down, it just made me feel worse. So um, I also made the mistake of uh, gloving down loads of water when apparently it should be milk you're, do you're doing instead. Apparently milk's better to cool you down, um, but I didn't really necessarily knew that at the time. I didn't really know that, so I ended up having water. So it kind of, it was like a short-term fix, but it didn't actually help me out long-term because I, it would just come straight back again, the burning sensations. But I'm going to cut in a minute to uh, that footage so you can see. Uh, and the second one, excuse me, was a uh, challenge that I wasn't actually planning on doing, but ended up doing it um, not because I was pressured, but because it was in a live environment and uh, we were going on about it. And I just was like, oh, and right at the last minute, I was just like, oh, sod it. Um, basically, there was a, some of you may have seen the Marmite challenges going around not so long ago that my good friend Dave, aka Lawnbo, Lawn, can't speak today, aka Lawn Boys Post 1975. Uh, did one and it circulated round and some of the other guys did it uh, where you basically take a whole tablespoon of marmite out the jar and uh, basically down it I guess. I was doing a live stream a few weeks later as part of the Retro Unlim network which is awesome by the way um, and uh, we were talking about it and how people have done responses and stuff and um, I happened to have a massive tub of marmite in front of me um, bigger than a normal jar because if you go to like places like Costco you can get it in bulk and you can get bigger uh, sort of versions. I had a massive tub of it and uh, I just literally just took a whole teaspoon straight in and it was it was horrible. It really was horrible. And there's footage again of me doing that. And uh, yeah, I look in a lot of discomfort. Um, so I'm going to cut to that as well. So basically you've got me um, basically taking a, a tablespoon of the hottest thing on an Indian menu, which is called fowl. And uh, then also taking a, a big teaspoon of Marmite as well out of a big tub. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to cut to both one after another. Um, enjoy, and uh, are you brave enough to upload any of yourself as well? Thanks a lot, and uh, enjoy. 
Oh, oh god. I'll try a little bit because I've got water. Yeah, I want more. I want more. <laughs> He's going for it. Oh my god. The coolest thing on the menu. We are now immune to the coolest thing. Oh my god. Please, let's not try. That's really good actually. Go out and pass. Thank you. I'll take you down. My brother will pass it very hard. Oh my god. 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 Oh Oh, look at the face, look at the face. Hey, here's the best bit. Oh, you, never you, thought, didn't you never thought that Marmite was chewable, but oh. now you know it is. <laughs> Ooh, it's the burny bit. Wait till it hits your stomach, then it fucking burns. Are you sweating? Do you have a little bra of sweat? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. Just one pound a week can help us get this person a place <laughs> in a home he deserves. I think I think it's trying to say stop. Oh wow, look at him! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aiden, I did three of those bad boys in a row. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, so sorry. I think it's welded his mouth shut. I, I think we destroyed his singing skills. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Uh, <laughs> wash it down with some marmite. <laughs> yeah, maybe a hot bottle drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, the last question, and the reason why I've turned the camera around and I'm like on the floor now, is because this is another random one, and um, it's just, it's just. Um, one that I've done out of a bit of interest really, see if any of you guys have actually got any that you can do. And that is, do you have any what are called party tricks? Now, um, what I mean by that is, do you have any things that not many people can do that when you're at a party and uh, everyone's, you know, having a good time and, and, you know, starting to get a little bit drunk and stuff like that, um, that you can pull it off and it'll just impress. You can sort of stand in the middle of the floor, do whatever it is and just impress everybody just like straight away. Do you have something that you can just pull out of the bag that you can impress people with that not many people can then come up behind you and say, well, I can do that. You know, it's, it makes you unique as well. And it's something that not many people can do in general and you can impress people with it. Now, I've got two. One's um, one that you've got to have a lot of strength in order to pull off and one's a bit random. Uh, one is I can make a weird noise with my mouth. Um, I can actually get my tongue onto the top of my gum just underneath. I can actually pull it back and create a really, really loud popping noise. And I've worked out that not many people can do it because people have tried to do it before and I've done it and they've tried to copy me and um, not managed to do it. They sort of they sort of end up going like, which is nothing like what I can do. So I can actually take my tongue and then actually make myself go, that wasn't very good, hang on. That's better. Um, first time I got stuck. Yeah, so I'll just do it once more. That was better, that was better. Um, so I can actually create a really random popping noise in my mouth, um, as you do. Um, so there's that one. And the other one, to finish off, is I can actually do a one-legged squat. Now, if any of you guys don't know what squats are, you basically you come down um, so that your knees bend and you just basically uh, you keep your knees behind your toes, you keep your back straight and just push your glutes out behind you, which is basically your bum. Um, and then you come up again. Obviously, it works all the legs and the thighs as well and the, obviously the bum. There we go. Right, so I can actually, so there's your normal squat, and then I can actually do one legged where you, I use my hands out here so that they're not touching my legs, so I'm not sort of cheating, I'm keeping everything up in mid air, and I can actually, my foot's not touching the floor, <sighs> my foot didn't touch the floor at all, I just got on the other side. There we go. My foot didn't actually touch the floor at all. Um, so if you want to replay that, if you don't believe me, uh, feel free. Uh, that's another party trick that I've actually done a few times and people have actually have been really impressed by it and they can't do it because they end up falling over and stuff. It's because I come down so low as well, it becomes even harder. 
Um, and I don't know, I've just always been able to do it. And obviously, the thing with that is that to be able to lift your own body weight up all the way back up again, just using the one leg, is not easy. So, so there we go. There are your questions. Um, they are very, very, very random. Um, so I hope you guys like them. And uh, I really do hope this circulates round. Like I said, there's no pressure to do them. But um, if you do, it would be sick. So, first person I'm going to tag is the legendary Shock16. Because he's tagged me, but I've not tagged him. And I do want to return the favour. Um, because he's a legend. So, uh, uh, Shock16, um, if you can answer those five questions, mate. That would be wicked. Uh, next guy I'm going to tag is uh, the awesome guy, uh, Dave, aka Lawn Boys Post, 1975. Love to hear his answers and um, see what he's got to say. And another YouTuber, this is um, basically, um, I think it's three people that do it, uh, but I've only really seen most of them done by two of them because I think the other guy doesn't do it very often, or he's like there, he's present there some of the time, but he doesn't do a lot of videos. I tend to just see the two of them, and they are so funny. Now, these are just basically um, two people that are just hilarious. Uh, they do some of the most extreme challenges I've seen anyone do. Um, they're so funny. Uh, Kaylee and Sai, um, they are absolutely hilarious they've done some of the most extreme challenges i've ever ever seen in my life um they are just such awesome people um they're yeah so funny um they don't really care uh about what they what they do they just do it and some of the things that they do i just think how could you possibly be able to do that and they do they just do um but yeah they've got i don't really want to spoil it because their channel is absolutely wicked um, so I don't want to spoil it, and by saying some of the challenges that they do, I would just say go over and check them out. Again, the link to their channel, as well as the other two guys, Shocks and Long Boys Post, are going to be in the description bar. Um, funnily enough, I've had a really bad back recently. I was teaching a fitness class last week, and um, I was went down to do what's called a lunge, which is it's it's similar to a squat in terms of you do come down still and you do work similar areas, um, but uh, you just have one foot in front of the other, basically. Um, I'm sitting down now. I'm not going to stand up again. Um, but yeah, basically I was coming down and uh, as I went to come down, my whole back just sort of went bang and just had the most excruciating pain I've had in a long time suddenly shoot across my lower back. Um, I don't know why it happened. All, the only thing I can think of is that I must have come down and my back must have been pushed into a sort of slight wrong direction without me realising and it was just, just didn't agree with it and it just sort of went. Um, but all I know from there is that I was in so much pain, absolute agony for about four or five days. I'm still feeling a little bit now, um, but it's not as bad as it was. Um, so I'm still okay again to do classes and stuff as long as I'm just a little bit careful. Um, and so basically I was taking painkillers, but I was also taking what's called Tiger Balm, which is um, similar to like deep heat, but it's a bit more natural. Um, I've heard that it's got natural remedies in and it's a bit more effective at kind of getting directly to the source. Um, to kind of like relax the muscle and sort of help with like muscle aches and stuff. Um, and uh, so I put Tiger Balm into YouTube just to see if I could find some videos on um, what's good about Tiger Balm and why it's so effective and stuff. And um, their channel came up because um, Kaylee did a challenge uh, without spoiling it too much where it was using Tiger Balm and hot sauce. Just check it out if you um, are intrigued by that. Um, and uh, from there, once I'd had that video and watched it and clicked on their channel, obviously all the rest of their videos came up and that was it. I was just going through loads of their videos and uh, that was it. I spent like about three hours in one go just looking through loads of their challenge videos and just commenting on them because I got addicted. I got addicted. Why did I say it like that? I got addicted um, to um, their videos and um, that's it. I'm hooked on their channel now. And every time they upload a new video, I'm watching it and I'm commenting on it. It's It's brilliant. And the things they do, oh, you sort of look at them and go, oh, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that. Um, but Kaylee is absolutely hilarious. She's such an awesome person. She's really, really lovely. Um, and uh, she's just great. She's just great to chat to. And uh, she just, yeah, she she won't turn any challenge down. She will, someone like, offers her to do something, no matter how extreme, obviously if you're not gonna die from it, um, she will do it. Um, so I wanna tag you guys, Kaylee and Cy. Um, no pressure though, if you don't want to do it or you don't do this kind of thing on your channel, I completely understand. If it's if it's completely different to what you, 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 you normally want to do and it's something that you don't 
want to venture into it's absolutely fine i completely understand and i would just say keep up the amazing work on your channel and keep the awesome challenge vids coming but if you guys want to do it it'd be absolutely wicked um I don't mind if you would if you do do it if you wanted to do it separately so like Sai you do one and then Kaylee you do one or if um you both wanted to sit side by side and just sort of comment on the, the questions together I honestly don't mind that's if you even want to do it um so yeah uh, their channel is called Devonshire Idiot and Co so it's um it's not all one word there's spaces in between each one so it's Devonshire Idiot and the yeah, sort of idiot and the uh, the asterisk not not asterisk what you call it the can't think what the word is the little sign and then and then co dot uh, for co or short for company um so yeah shock 16 long boys post 1975 and devonshire idiot and co thanks very much and i look forward to seeing your responses hopefully if you do do them very soon and to hopefully then see them passed on so that other people can do them thank you very much everyone and uh, i'll see you soon enjoy the tag